what's up guys uh, I'm working on my 2000 Nissan Frontier it has the four cylinder the K24 DE uh, with the five speed manual um, pretty sure you already have an idea of what the video is about because of the title so let's get straight to it um, it's not really a how to video because it's already done I'll try to explain the best that I can in regards of what I did uh, so that way you have an idea of how to do it especially because I haven't seen a video on YouTube um, showing this information on this particular truck I mean I know the K24D came with uh, you know different cars within Nissan uh, but anyways so what you want to do first you want to go ahead and set the first piston to top dead center um, on this one it's one two three four so this is the first one uh, I'm not gonna go really into detail of how to set it to top dead center uh, there's a bunch of videos that shows you how to do it but once you do that then you can start with everything um, and also when you open it up an easy way to know if you have it on top dead center on the compression stroke is by looking at the camshaft lobes so you have your intake side and your exhaust side um, and then a clear way to know if you got it right on the dot um, is that this cam lobe on the intake it's facing to the left and then this one it's facing to the right if yours looks like this then you should be good to go all right so and then i went with this i don't even know how to pronounce it chloe's chloe's whatever um timing chain kit part number and i do have the old sprockets here so so you start by installing the crankshaft uh, sprocket first and then also this guide right here so and then when it comes to the uh, this sprocket and these two they only go one way meaning these are the old ones um, you see how they have this little ridge so this one too they only go one way so you cannot really you know get confused and install it incorrect and uh, as you can see you have the the marks and so you have these dimple 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 and this one is the Euler one this one doesn't really go a certain way I mean obviously it's gonna go like this and um, on this one you have the marking here and then also here because back here this is where the lower timing chain goes and then here on the front part on the smaller one this is what uh, drives the chain for the upper you know for the intake and exhaust um, so let me grab this one hopefully the lights good down here so like I say you want to start by installing this one first so you go ahead and get it in uh, that's what she said <laughs> uh, anyways uh, so you go ahead and install this one and then you can see that the dimples could be facing down here uh, to the bottom right uh, let me see <clears throat> and then once you do that uh, oh, and, oh and also the chains um, only on one side of both chains it shows the markings um, which I'm talking about these markings on the chains as you can see they're black so black and this one and then this one uh, same thing for the lower one the lower one only has two markings which is one here back there and then one down here so yeah you start by installing this one you match uh, this marking right here from the chain to the dimple uh, let me see if I can try to see that little dimple and then the marking the black uh, the black chain is right on it so you do that and then you um, you start moving up here to this back one and then you line it up with this line of the Euler sprocket this line with the other marking just like that then once you do that you can go and tie this bolt down you can start uh you put this left guide 
this one and then you can start by putting the lower timing chain tensioner which this one I actually bought it from Nissan I don't know why but I just went in and did it and um, go ahead and time down your two ten millimeters and then take off the what is it it has a little thing where it's holding the the cylinder from coming out you take that out and then this comes out the cylinder comes out from the tensioner so that's basically done like this whole the lower one uh, so actually the video is about to cut off all right so let's continue um, so yeah so you're basically done with the lower timing chain um, so you move up to over here so you start by you, you base off from this one um, can't really see uh, you can kind of see back there hold on let me see if I can focus it you can see the dimple kind of nah. let me go to the old one so what I'm trying to show right now is uh, this dimple but you can't really see it um, in there it's kind of dark and the chain covers it so you start by aligning the marking on the chain on the upper chain with this marking right here which I counted uh, it's eight going one two three four five six seven eight and it's eight to this one so they're all even they're basically it's even out um, so you start by you start your reference with this with the dimple from this one so you go ahead and line that up and you go around and then here you line up the chain with this marking on this sprocket and then you keep going and then uh, and like I said everything should line up if you have everything to top that center and if your chain was not broken um, and then you line up this marking with this line on this sprocket and that's it once you do that um, obviously make sure that these are tied down and then go ahead and install the upper timing chain tensioner to 10 millimeters and then also release the pressure and this comes out so now it's good and that's basically how you set the timing on this K24DE hopefully this video helps you guys if you're trying to do this exact same job it's pretty simple pretty easy that's it the old parts got the stuff over here but yeah I just wanted to focus on how to set the timing on a 2000 Nissan Frontier um, this generation goes from 98 to 2000 so hope this video is helpful like comment subscribe you know do all those good things see you on the next one